the lesson plan um, has three components. There's a part A, B, and C. Uh, part A really focuses on taking one or more objectives out of your DACOM or one or more uh, outcomes, ideally one outcome out of your uh, outcomes profile chart, and then developing a logical chunk of instruction around that outcome or that objective. Now, because there's a diversity of people in this course from many different backgrounds, you will need to determine what a reasonable chunk of instructional time is. You might be teaching in one hour chunks, 30 minute chunks, maybe three hour chunks of time. Uh, we recommend you don't go beyond the three hour chunk of time. That is a little bit long. So, you know, you're looking at an hour to maybe hour and a half worth of instruction is sort of on the average. Or if you're in a scenario where you're doing 30 minute trainings, well, that will work as well. You need to determine the logical chunk of time and you need to include all the elements within an effective lesson plan which we will um, share with you and it, you can see in the readings as well um, so remember this is an extremely important part of the process and 3a is the lesson plan itself it's due at the end of the sixth week um, and 3b focuses on the rationale which I'll talk uh, about in just a minute so once again the uh, rubric um, for the lesson planning component uh, talks about the fact you need to have all those elements included they need to uh, be congruent they need to actually work that has to be connected to your DACOM or to your uh, outcome profile chart so uh, again you, uh, you know a, a top-notch assignment sort of checks off all those particular boxes take a look at the uh, expectations and the criteria for the evaluation also take a close look at the lesson plan rationale you know this is where you justify the decisions that you have made. You know why did you make the cho the choices that you have made? Um, you you need to describe how the activities in this lesson will promote that positive learning environment. So again, the rationale document helps you to think through your process. It too is due at the end of six weeks. Now it's really important that you remember that the staggered due dates are in place for your benefit because it gives me the opportunity as your instructor to um, take a look at your work and, and grade it and evaluate it and then provide you feedback that you can use to make adjustments. Once you do um, make those adjustments to the feedback, you can then resubmit and that turns into part C um, and you get those five points just by simply making the adjustments and resubmitting. Um, I don't, you know, I don't review them. Uh, it's just really the submission process to get you accustomed to, you know, doing that iterative, iterative, reflective process. Very, very important process. Now, this part C is due at the end of week nine. Um, and again, um, it's five points or, you know, it, it's, it's an all or nothing type of scenario. So please take advantage of the reflection uh, time that I need to, you know, give you the reflection that you need to be able to, um, uh, make the adjustments that you want to do. Use those staggered due dates. Um, as you work through this this whole assignment, if you've got any questions, once again, as always, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My job is to help you be successful, and I want you to have the most effective uh, lesson plan that you can develop.